Warzone Morlock 40k is back! The Sisters of Battle take on the Necrons in a Warhammer 40,000 1500 point battle report, Maelstrom of War mission, Ambitious Surge. Welcome back to Warzone Morlock 40k, we're back in the shed, brother Nick is joining us again with a brand new Sisters of Battle army against the bright orange Necrons as you've seen in the video which almost no one has watched just before this. Uh, we are the home of fully painted narrative themed battle reports, if you've just subscribed to us from the last battle report welcome, brother Nick is a veteran of the channel and we're going to be rocking a beautiful army. Welcome back. Thank you very much indeed. Check this out. Limited edition. The beautiful limited edition codex. Not so limited edition. <laughs> available on eBay everywhere <laughs> imminently. Um, Going to mention, of course, the Bad Moon Cafe, London's premium wargaming venue. Check them out. They've got an online store at the moment selling all sorts of Warhammer and other uh, Games Workshop products. It's awesome. At very reasonably discounted prices. Yeah, it's all right. And a flat white. We're playing on an, uh, a desolate jungle world of Necron buildings that have been asleep and dormant for so long we just think they're ancient ruins. In the middle there's an imperial listening post monitored by the Adeptus Sororitas. Yes indeed. But turns out all contact's been lost and my guys have turned up to find out what exactly is going on and the Necrons have dared to wake up and they've obviously just killed everything nearby indeed. and I've come to deal with that. It's going to be a bad day so, in the office. Yeah. <laughs> for the sisters, but it's going to be awesome. Uh, Nick's beautiful army uh, we're going to showcase very soon. Uh, you'll be amazed, they're stunning. Thank you. What uh, is it? What are they called? Chapters? What are they uh, called? Orders. It's an order. So, so you're playing as? The Order of Our Martyred Lady, which is kind of the original one that always gets used in the artwork and so on, because it is extremely cool with the black and the red. So everyone understands, one of the major things that go with the new sisters is the idea of miracle dice. <gasps> yes. That's right, appropriate gasps where, where I possible. I don't get miracle dice because <laughs> I'm don't Necron. Get miracle dice. Necron. Okay. Uh, shield of faith, which means that everyone who's a sister and not someone who's really messed up like the mortifiers and people like that, people who've read the Emperor, gets a six plus invulnerable save. And they also get miracle dice, which means that I have a pool of dice. I get one at the start of every battle round and one's for other reasons as well. I'll roll that dice at the time and that then gets added to a pool of dice at the side of the board and I can use those dice whenever I want for certain dice rolls. I usually get, would get a miracle dice if a character of my army gets killed at the end of that phase. Instead I get a miracle dice when any unit gets destroyed. Say what? Because we just love dying for the Emperor. Huge fans of that. Alright. Alright. So it's a brand new codex against what is a very old codex uh, mm -hmm. but I'm going to rock the Mephric Dynasty as best as I can. It's 1500 points, fully painted, fully themed battle report. In Henry we trust. Let's do it. And this is my Sisters of Battle Army, the Adeptus Sororitas. It's a 1500 points or 1499 actually. It's uh, meant to be 10 command points, but we'll be minusing two of those. I'll tell you about that in just a second. So the first a, the first uh, battalion which we're gonna have is gonna be the Cannoness down the front right there. She's got a rod of office. <laughs> rod. <laughs> and Celestine, thank you, Bill. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, those two are gonna be the start of the battalion. There are three Battle Sister squads in there. Uh, there's a couple of Malacrum Imperialis, I think they're called. Uh, a couple of special weapons with each, and uh, I think the yeah one of the Sister Superiors has got a combi melter, but it's all pretty standard stuff. The elites of that particular battalion are a Hospitaller on the far right over there. That's the one. Looking nice. Thank you very much. Looking lovely. And a squad of nine Repent Sisters Repentia with their Repentia Superior there, the ones with their uh, eviscerators covered in blood, of course. And they've got a Sororitas Rhino, that's what the Repentia will be coming in and on the far left. Second detachment is an Outrider detachment. That's going to have the Cannoness, who's also the Warlord, the uh, front on the left here. She's uh, carrying a Blessed Blade. 
And she also has uh, the bolt pistol, the Wrath of the Emperor, which is her relic. So that's going to be very, very useful. Uh, the In her Outriders attachment, there are two Dominion squads. One with Melter Guns, and that's the Retributors. That's the uh, uh, Stormbolt squad just down here. Yeah. And a Melter Gun squad of Dominions just at the back there. There's also a Seraphim squad at the very back there. Uh, there's two of the sisters with Inferno pistols dual as well. I'll just say at this time, thank you to James March at marchofwar.co.uk for those awesome bases which he sent to me. Uh, as well as that, the, fire, the third and final detachment is a spearhead detachment that is with the missionary at the front here in front of Celestine. He's got a unit of six Arco Flagellants at the back there. And there we've got an Endurance who leads them. And there the three heavy support choices are the Exist on the far right with its superb new missile launch system. <laughs> I just love that model. It took me ages. Okay. Uh, the two Mortifiers directly beside it. One of them is an Anchorite, which means the uh, unfortunate sister inside is sealed in adamantium and made to suffer just that little bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> because that's the kind it's of so army grim. I'm playing. It's so grim. And finally, the Retributor Squad on the far left with the heavy weapons. There's two multi-melters and two heavy bolters. As much as for any other reason, simply because I've only got one box at the moment, so I'll be getting another couple of multi-melters very shortly. That is 1,500 points. The only thing that's different, I say there's 10 command points. However, I've spent two command points to make the Cannoness, who isn't a Warlord. That's the one over here on the right-hand side. She's a, a heroine in the making, which means she's also allowed to have a command, uh, a warlord trait. So she's got the warlord trait, Beacon of Faith, which means she gets generates me an extra miracle dice per turn. And she's also, I've also had another miracle dice, and miracle dice, another uh, command, point. command point, thank you, that's the word I'm looking for, for the litanies of faith, which means I can re-roll one of my miracle dice per turn as well. And the warlord trait of my cannoness at the front there with the power sword is Indomitable Belief. So that means she increases the invulnerable save of all the sisters near her by one. So very, very useful. That's 1,500 points of sisters. Now looking at the Necrons. Here we are with my 1,500 points of Necrons. I'm going to be rocking the Mephrit Dynasty today, uh, rules-wise, although we are the Star Ghoul Dynasty. Bright orange, don't know if you could tell. They blend so much into the jungles, it's uh, active camouflage. Warlord today, Overlord with the Void Reaper Relic, which is a, a massive uh, pick, which is going to cut through uh, Celestine's uh, soft throat. <laughs> uh, a Cryptek stock. Uh, three units of troops. We've got 11 warriors, 11 warriors, and 10 immortals. Um, and it's going to be the big turkey itself is going to be the monolith. They're supported by five destroyers, two doomsday arcs, and three scarabs. That's all we need. Let's see what happens with the big orange turkey. We're playing Maelstrom of War Mission Ambitious Surge. So tactical objective cards are in play. I deployed first as the attacker. Yes, indeed. I'm the defender. Yeah, so I had no idea where he was going to be. So let's have a look where I've gone. Objective number four, sorry, number six is there. I've got scarabs and destroyers. I've got a long line of warriors, hopefully shielding stuff. I've got some immortals there. The two doomsday arcs holding the middle. Uh, both HQs are there. And another squad of warriors are objective one. The other objectives, number three is there. Number five, five is, is right there. in the back of my lines. Number two is tucked away next to the listening post. And number four is up on this tower held by this little sister squad. And while we're over on your side, Nick, just show us where you've deployed, because you deployed as uh, second. I did as defender. Frankly, I've just kind of, I'm fully aware that with the Dawn of War deployment, which we've got, it's gonna, I'm going to be in range of you. So I've got sister squads on the uh, your left-hand side over here. Celestine with another sister squad and the Dominions here who are going to do an advance move before the game starts. The Rhino's here with the Repentia and Repentia Superior in it and another group of sisters. The Exist is hiding behind this tree line. We've packed these trees so tightly we are saying they are... Yeah, they're, they're, they're line of sight blocking. And I can see through the, the branches. We'll, we'll treat them as line of sight blocking terrain. Absolutely. Uh, they're little. Uh, we've got my retributor, retributor Squad here, along with the Arco Flagellants, another Dominion Squad who are about to do an advance move. The Spitalo's backing them up. The Missionary and the Cannoness are here. 
and the uh, two mortifiers are over on the far right hand flank. The uh, the warlord is currently over here with Celestine at the moment. Nice work. Well, the first battle round, I'm going to roll a miracle dice, but I'll try and see first. Let's try okay. and see, just for a laugh. Nope. No. I'm going to roll for my first miracle dice. The start of the first battle round, it's going to be a excellent. Well, I'm just allowed what to... you wanted is a miracle one. I could use it, but I'm allowed to roll re-roll one a turn. So, although I think that's in my turn, so that, I'll keep that one for the time being. Okay. You can use that. That's my first miracle dice. Pre-game move from the sisters. The Vanguard move from the Dominions. One Dominion squad has got a very nice advanced move and they're tucked in behind the listening post. That's the Stormbolt one. The Meltagun ones are currently cowering behind this Necron artifact, which will save them from some of the Necrons, not all. So it's going to be turn one, Necrons. Yeah. At the start of my turn, I've drawn my five cards, two of which I've put to the side, and these three I've got. So mission critical objective. I'm going to roll a dice to see which is the mission critical objective. Certainly, there's a dice. Thank you very much. So... It's objective two, which is, is, oh, it's right in the middle here. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, which might be in threat range, so I might get a little point out of that. The other one I rolled is Duke. Code of Combat, which uh, gives me a victory point if I kill an enemy character, which is unlikely, which is why Nick has chosen this to be the ambitious surge, the ambitious surge rule. So if I actually scored this one, I would get an extra victory point. Exactly, so every time. But because it's unlikely, Nick's picked that one, and I have a secret one. Which you won't show to the nice people. Oh! oh. Well, is it achievable? It is. <laughs> you don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> so, <laughs> onwards. I've had to shift the Doomsday Arcs over to the left to try and get the angle on the Rhino, which what I think we, we just about do. So I might actually kill something. Might get a first strike. <laughs> Who knows? Scarabs are holding tight on Objective 6 just to, for some denial. The Warriors and the Destroyers rolled some awesome advances and we're playing for the critical objective for my ambitious surge of objective number two. Uh, the Immortals pushed forward just at a normal distance, just so they can get some shots off against that squad over there. They did advance, but they've got Oh, they've advanced weapons, because of their assault weapons. Their assault so, weapons. Yeah. And over on this side, I've got another horrendous advance on my warriors who have pushed on to objective three, which might be the secret one. <laughs> just got a massive board control. Yeah, and the Cryptic and the uh, Warlord managed to shift over there as well. So, Don't they? I'm not going to shoot you next turn. Because they can't know. shoot. He never doesn't even have a gun. The Warriors can't shoot. The Destroyers can't shoot, which does seem a bit of a waste because they've got some awesome stuff, but I was playing for the points. Nice. And so the only things that can shoot are going to be the Immortals and the Doomsday Arcs. So here comes the briefest show shooting phase <laughs> you've ever seen. The Immortals against... The sisters over here. It's five little sister squads so wrapping around Celestine. So yeah. I have moved, so I'm looking at plus one to hit, so I'm looking at fours. Minus one to hit. Minus one to hit, so looking for fours to hit. Exploding sixes. Oh, how many sixes? Say what? Many. <laughs> We're going to annihilate those toughness three ladies. Three plus to wound. Three plus to wound. Oh, that's ridiculous. Hang on, I've got one more dice which I dropped. <laughs> Fifteen wounds have been caused. Looking for... 15 wounds, so it's three plus saves. Power armor, so you oh, do your thing. <laughs> How many? One, two, th that's them white. At first strike, <laughs> for the Necrons, for the store gold in his day. Different play. Shut up, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I, will get, I will get a miracle dice to them, however, because they're ordered by Martin. Indeed, Lake. indeed. The Doomsday Arc, numero uno. <laughs> At the Rhino, concealing itself very poorly in the jungle <laughs> terrain. So D it has moved, so it'll be on low power mode for D6 shots. It's a rubbish one. I'm going to command point that. Okay. So I'm going to go for... Oh, oh. six! <laughs> that was worth a command point. Yeah, down absolutely. To seven, down to seven command points for you. Okay, now, low pass. So looking at threes to hit, I believe. Uh, it is three plus to hit. Yeah, threes to hit. Here we go. Oh, not so hot. We got three. three. And it's strength eight. Okay, it's top of seven, so threes to wound. Threes to wound. Nice, two wounds get two through. Two have gone through. Neither, so it's no. 2d3 damage. 2d3 damage. Oh, oh dear, dear. There, there. <laughs> so three damage caused? Yeah, you'll take that, won't you? I think I'll live with this that. This is why we bring two Doomsday Arcs, because we're going to do the same <laughs> thing. Rinse and repeat. So D6 shots for five. Nice. Three's to hit. Three's to hit. Oh. That's a better roll. Uh, three's to wound. Uh -oh. oh, we're cooking on gas. <laughs> Four, five plus saves. Make one. That's three d three damage. Uh oh. Uh, three, four, five, five. six. 
Yep, six damage. That puts him on one wound. <laughs> uh, it's a shame. It's a good thing I killed that squad for the first strike, So, but that, that massively reduces its uh, manoeuvrability. That's how. That's it. And that's the end of my shooting. Come on, uh, victory points. I got first strike. You did indeed. You got... Uh, one is it one point for the mission critical? Yeah, I get one victory point for securing my. So, what was, and what was the hidden one? The hidden one is uh, I don't have to tell you just yet, but I, I haven't scored it. Oh, you haven't scored it. I haven't oh, scored mistake. it. So, mistake. two nil. Just to turn one of the cards, Nick has drawn. Ah, assassinate. Got to try and take out an enemy character this turn. Secure objective five, which is the one that my units are currently. Show the camera a sneaky one. I'll look away. Oh. I'm going to have to show the sneaky one, apparently I'm showing the sneaky one. And this one... Not looking! This could be interesting, being that, uh, yeah, we'll see if that happens. <laughs> it doesn't sound optimistic. Don't be like that. I nominated the card for Assassinate, where Nick would get double the points, wouldn't you? Or an extra, extra victory point. An extra victory point, if you manage to kill one of my two characters. Okay, and we've got some Miracle Dice. I rolled one for Miracle Dice for the destruction of my unit last turn, got a six. Rolled one to the start of this bat of this turn of my own, and I rolled a three. However, my litanies of faith rake relic that I've got allow me to re-roll it, and it's another six. So two sixes and a one. Easy for you Very to say. Very nice. <laughs> Don't be like that. Very nice. Okay. The normal sister squad is just holding an objective. Don't need it right now, but it seems rude to give up that board edge. Indeed. Repentia have got out of their rhino and come moving forward. They haven't had to advance, which has been very nice. Celestine and my warlord have come with them. That gives them a lot of uh, an extra in their invulnerable, adds to their invulnerable save. It actually is cumulative. I'm going to get have. smashed. <laughs> you quite possibly may. The rhino with its three inch move has limped forward, and the dominions have poked around the corner to also to be able to take a shot. Uh, the exorcist to stay where it is. I'm going to try and take. I'm not willing to risk shooting of those uh, horrendous do marks of yours just yet. I'm You're not doing the... the Emperor very proud there by hiding behind the jungle. Well, I'm waiting to see the monolith <laughs> arrive, all right? The, uh, <laughs> the, um, the Archoflaglins and the Priest have moved up. The Retributors and Evon have moved up, but are still close enough. Uh, well, they were close enough. Let me just put that where I put it before. The Retributors are now close enough to that objective. <laughs> just to, that's where I meant to put them. The Cannoness with her aura, her reroll aura, is standing in the middle of a lot of things. The Hospitaller is backing up the uh, Dominions over to the side here. And the Mortifiers have moved up and advanced to get nice and close up here. The Look how cool this looks. There's a horrible little stratagem that allows things with the Sisters keyword, which the Mortifiers have, to still charge after they've advanced. So I'm hoping to do a little bit of a blender action. on Can't be done, mate. <laughs> Can't do it, mate. Can't, Can't do, it, do it, mate. So start the shooting phase. This unit here are just gonna be firing their four bolters and one heavy bolter into the normal little and warriors down here. Heavy bolters, three shots at three plus to hit. All hit. Uh, three plus to wounds, it's strength five. Any sixes with divine guidance are an extra minus one. Well, that's Oh awful. dear! That's, that's <laughs> not how we want to see this shooting phase with No, end. where is your emperor now? <laughs> Faith has failed me. Yeah. Uh, four bolters at three plus to hit. All hit, fours to wound. Wow. So if this Dude, is the start... You forgot to learn how to roll dice. You I've forgot on your moves. Your knowledge. You should have prayed to Henry, mate. Henry. <gasps> Henry. Henry, we trust. Shoot, it's going to be St. Celestine herself with her flaming sword. Which is a heavy flamer, basically. So it's D6 automatic hits. I had a flaming sword once, <laughs> but antibiotics cleared it out. <laughs> Social distancing is just not enough, but I know that you've had something quite like that. Three plus to wound. Uh, two wounds at minus one. Oh, uh, oh no, she doesn't get the chapter tag, the um, order thing, so it's minus? minus one. Uh, minus one for a heavy flamer. So how many hits was it? Two? Two. So oh, two. oh, look at that! I like it, it'd be five, isn't it? Because you've only got four plus saves, haven't you? With three plus with destroyers. Uh, oh, it's the, warriors. the warriors. Sorry, it's the warriors. That's right, but you still saved it beautifully. Still, so it doesn't matter because it's two sixes. <laughs> I know fired at Storm Bolter at the Warriors as well, but failed miserably because of my raspberry opening <laughs> fire. So now the Dominions are going to use the new stratagem for one command point, Blessed Bolts. Blessed right, Bolts! Every single Storm Bolt they fire is somehow blessed by the Emperor. It's been made by someone who's taken a lifetime to make it. It basically means their Storm Bolts, which are in half range, are still strength four. But they're AP minus two, oh, two damage. Damn! And of course, with divine guidance, if I get any sixes to wound, I'll become minus three. So yeah. Very powerful. Okay, let's see some new sister power. So with four sisters, that's uh, firing their storm bolters. Obviously, I'll do the bolter of the, of the superior separately. Right, 16 hit shots at three plus to hit. And there's 
can this is not near enough, unfortunately, so I won't get any rerolls for this. It's a shame. <laughs> so that's going to be 12 hits. Five to wound. There's a few. Yeah, definitely. One, two, three, four. And all of them are sixes, which means they're all at minus three. Oh, no way. So that's four, six plus. So how many wounds do they have each? They're three wounds apiece. Oh, okay, it's two wounds per hit. So you've got four, six plus saves. One makes it, but that's three through. So that's uh, and one dead with two wounds. Uh, with that's the two dice and two wounds off the next one as well. Yeah. So he's down to one wound. There's a cheeky, cheeky angle. The do mark <laughs> yeah. This is a uh, possibly a problem, but I'm going to give it a go. I don't know if that quantum shield is going to let me my missiles through, but I'll try. So let's see X, what happens. Nexus missile launcher at that do mark, and it's heavy bolter is going to be firing to the destroyers. So three shots from the heavy bolter first of all, because it hasn't moved. Three plus to hit. Two hits. Five, four pluses to wound because the toughness five, aren't they? I believe. The um, destroyers. Yes, here. they are toughness five. Forced to wound. Two wounds. Oh, and both at AP minus two. Oh wow! So look at the fives. Again, one's gone through. That's the one remaining wound on one of them, so. So that will kill that one. So they're slowly going. Slowly going. Now it's the Exorcist uh, launcher, is it right? should be interesting, it is indeed. I've... There is a stratagem to re-roll these dice, but I'm just going to give it a go, so I've got, I haven't got that many uh, command points left. I've got seven. I want to save some of them for my stretch later. So, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So it is 3d3 shots. <laughs> oh, man. Nice, that's seven shots. Three pluses to hit. That's five hits, three pluses to wound. That's pretty solid. That's, That's solid. five wounds, <gasps> and it's minus three. However, so do you even get a save on that? It's a four plus save. Well, it's minus three. And in fact, there were several sixes there, but I should, which I should have taken into account. But actually, it's <laughs> minus three already. So four oh, plus save. You don't yeah, get so straight through. So now it's five d6 wounds. However, what's the damage? D6 per missile. Mm. However. Your one quantum shielding may massively save that. So we'll, I'll roll the damage first of all, and then you can each them your quantum shield. It's incorrect. Initially, those sixes actually potentially were okay, because as long as he rolled fives for his quantum shielding or under, uh, sorry, if he rolled sixes himself, those would go through. However, I'm playing the stratagem quantum deflection for one command point. Which means it's which means I have to roll equal to. So the sixes are completely. The uh, sixes useless. cannot get through, unfortunately, no. which is a damn shame because I'd love to see one of those things. So up. on this one, I need to roll a five or under. You've got it. Got it. This one, I need a three or under. That goes through. Oh, no, sorry, no, no it doesn't go through. Fine, and safe. this one's a three or under. That no. one does go through. So three wounds off one do mark. I'll take that. That could have been annihilated. You but... saved about 15 <laughs> wounds or something there, or something. Something stupid. Something stupid. No, a lot more than that. More. Yeah. 18 wounds. Quantum wounds. deflection. I forgot to do a bit of shooting with one of the Sister Superiors, is that right? Yes, yeah, Sister Superior, so, who's only got a little bolter. She's, she's just taken awesome. off two wounds from uh, one of my. She's, that's some damn good shooting. Yeah, actually. so good shooting <laughs> over this side of the board. Yep, there is a stratagem I could play to make those multi melters reach your Doom Art, but I think it might be wasted command points at the moment. So. Yeah. Fire. That was an option, <laughs> but we're thinking because of the quantum shielding debacle that just occurred. And it would be lasting until this point, I don't think it's worth playing it. So, identify two multi melters, two heavy bolters, and the bolter of the uh, retributor uh, superior into the warrior group just here. And they've got these guys, yeah, okay. Indeed. And because the cannon is there, they've got re rolling ones to hit. So, two heavy bolters, re rolling three ones very usefully. Oh, oh she's worth her weight in worth. power armor. <laughs> uh, three plus to wounds, a strength five against toughness four, I believe. Indeed. Uh, solid wounding, and that's uh, five saves at minus. Why well, it was one six in there? So if you roll one six first of all, that's a four, six plus save for you. One dead, and the other four will Good. be uh, five plus saves. Two more dead. Or are they? <laughs> Melt is now three plus to hit. Rerolling ones, love it. Two pluses to wound, and uh, yeah, two pluses to wound. <laughs> and two more dead Necrons. Warriors <laughs> into the dead pile. Four Melter Guns into these Necron Warriors here. Here we go. And then a, in fact, let's do a pl the Plasma Pistol first of all on the uh, Seraphim. With the Roll of Office, my cannoness is also in range because it's increased to nine inches. Rod of office. Damn uh -huh. right, don't start with me. <laughs> it's the innuendo that just keeps on giving. She's, because she therefore can reroll ones, I'm gonna supercharge the plasma pistol, just definitely wipe out warrior. So it's just a three plus to hit rerolling ones. 
misses anyway, it's worthless. Three melter guns, three pluses to hit, three hits, uh, two pluses to wound, and then half, well, it doesn't matter about the half range thing. And yeah, no, there's no sixes there, so two wounds taken by your warrior. It's melted! <laughs> Gone. And then there's going to be 12 heavy bolter shots from two sets of, because the heavy bolters on the mortifiers, even when they advance, one of their rules is they can change them from heavy uh, to accounting as advanced weapons instead. Well, not advanced Assault. weapons. Assault. Assault weapon, yeah. that's yeah. it. Tasty. Advanced and cheap. So, well handy, that. So 12 shots at four plus to hit. Four plus to hit into the warriors. Uh, they're outside the range of the can mess, so no re-rolling the ones. Mm. So With a buff, I think they would be deadly. Oh, that would be absolutely monstrous. So that's five hits, three pluses to wound with heavy bolter. That's nice. And Oh, no, they don't get the um, second orders because they, they're the ones you've really pissed off the sisters. <laughs> so it's just uh, five plus saves. That's Not a good. sausage. <laughs> five dead warriors, please. The rhino with its massive raspberry mode is still going to try and limp into combat. It needs a nine inch charge, so I want an eight. Okay. And you'll get your overwatch first. Indeed, I will. Of course. Let's firing overwatch at the rhino. It only takes one of these to go through. Looking for sixes. One, oh, one, one, six. one, 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 one is all we need. One is all we need. Six. Uh, it's a couple of seven, so five to wound. Five to wound. Oh, for yeah! The <laughs> Minus what? <laughs> That's minus three. Minus That's D three damage, not that that matters. Right, but... I'm going to at which point <coughs> use a miracle dice. Oh my word, a what? Sacred act right now. Wow. Make my invulnerable saving foe of six plus because this is not going to blow up in the middle of all my units. Do you know what? What an impressive use of the uh, function of the miracle dice. This is where they, I mean, I'm, I'm just fascinated by the use of the moment. They yeah. just changed the game. Well, right. that took a jam out of my donut. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Henry Cavill. He's only gone and failed the charge. That wasn't a good move on my That's part. That's a shame. <laughs> Moving on, the Repentia are going to be charging both the Destroyers and the Warriors. So Overwatch coming in hot <laughs> from the Destroyers. Looking for those sixes again. Uh, again, it's just the one, just the two one. to wound because they're only a feeble toughness three. Nice. That goes through. However, at half range, I've got the Mephrit. Uh, thing which is minus one AP. They have basically their skin as armor. However, they've got their sacred faith six plus. Celestine gives them one to that, which is five plus, And I took indomitable belief on the cannoness, which adds another one plus, and it is cumulative. So they actually have four plus invulnerable saves. So, so minus one. Nothing. It's invulnerable. Four oh, plus wow. Invulnerable okay. Save. Four plus invulnerable. Going to use your dice for some reason. Not yeah. sure why. Ah! Ah! It's fine there, Overwatch. Oh, we've got a few cheeky sixes. Okay. Three plus to wound. Cock dice. Lovely. That's four saves, four invulnerable saves for me, so four plus saves. Oh, three dead. <gasps> Wait, the sisters have got a special rule. I've just remembered. The Repentia. I, I remembered. Solace and Anguish have actually got five plus, essentially, feel no pain is their equivalent. One actually lives, so there we go. Okay, I'm so we've got two in the Overwatch, that'll do me. Now I've got to go. Choppy, choppy. The Repentia rolled a five. They tried to charge, obviously, the uh, both those squads. They only made it to the destroyers, they didn't make it to the warriors. The Repentia Superior made it into both. Yeah, massive charge from her. Massive charge, and Celestine got a double six. She's well in charge. She's Naturally. Really, they've all charged into these two units, the destroyers and the warriors remaining. Cannoness, who I remember I failed to fire her awesome Relic Bolt pistol. Excellent move on my part. Didn't <laughs> make the charge. Meanwhile, I've played Holy Rage, a stratagem which allows an Adeptus Sororitas unit, which they are, even though they are the ones who've done really bad things in the past, it allows them to charge even when they've already advanced. So they've made their charge into both the, what's this model called, sorry? The Cryptek. The Cryptek and the Warriors. Overwatch was ineffective despite the Mephrit buff, buff but uh, Bounced off the Anchorite, yeah. so let's go into the fight I think their chainsaws ready to go <laughs> against the Destroyers. So it's 14 attacks. It's minus one because they're giant chainsaws, they're four plus to hit, <coughs> however, they have the Zealot rule, which means they can re-roll to hit. And the Repent Superior, who's in there with them, also allows them to re-roll ones to wound when we go into that in a moment. So, four pluses to hit, re-rolling. But I can re-roll them all. Well handy. Oh, that's a lot better. Yeah, there you go. That's 12 there you go. With giant chainsaws. I'm feeling good about this. Now, I'm toughness five. You are, and this is, my times my strength by two, so these are toughness six, strength six. Wow. So these are three pluses to wound, and I can re-roll ones to wound, thanks to Repentia Superior, driving them onwards. Forward, you hags. Not even a single two. <laughs> re-rolling two, right. That's 11 wounds. I'll be honest with you, 
Things aren't wow. looking good for wow. the destroyers. Is there an AP? There most certainly is. The AP is minus three. Oh, so got sixes and then it's damage two per hit. Oh wow! There so there things, things aren't looking great. If I'm no. Gonna... <laughs> I think that's the, the stories, <coughs> the carved, the tiny pieces. Like a turkey at Christmas, they're gone. They've been carved. You've been served up, son. <laughs> here you're in here. She but, did absolutely nothing. You saved well, I rolled her. a six to save. Yes, you did. Yeah, so now Disgusting. it's on to Celestine. And she's got uh, six attacks at two plus to hit the warriors. Uh, misses, unfortunately, unbelievably, she has no rerolls of her own, so only four hits, so she will stay locked in combat here, for likely. Mm. Uh, she's not going to kill them all. It's strength seven, so three plus to wound. Uh, no rerolls of those, and then it's minus three. So, oh, in fact, you get no save, so two of them are dead. Pew pew! Pew pew! Oh, I didn't finish off that unit, which is a damn shame because I really don't like your reanimation. Bah. So, the mortifiers here, the anchorite, is going to put all of its attacks into the warriors which is 15 attacks when it's got these little pair of flails. Two flails. Two flails. And this uh, mortifier is going to put 15 attacks into the crit attack. There's all no the way to do this. <laughs> <laughs> so the ones against the warriors, so it's 15 attacks. It's three plus to hit. The porters don't have any re-rolls or any of that. So just three plus to hit against the warriors. <clears throat> 12 hits. It's strength six with the flail. So it's three plus to wound against the warriors. And that's Still one, two, four, five, six, seven, and you've got, it's minus two, so I'm afraid you've got six plus save. Well, I've got the chronometron, so it's going to be a five plus invul save Ooh, for everyone with nice, units okay. with three inches, so. Excellent. Not that it's made much difference. <laughs> <laughs> that's one, two, three, four, five, that's the, that's the that's unit. The unit is white, there's no chance of reanimating. Such is the folly of taking small men <laughs> teams. Small men Normally I run heads. blobs, but you know. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. The other 15 attacks coming in against the Cryptek now. So three plus to hit. Three to wound. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not so good. Yeah. There's five attacks getting through there. There are only one damage each of these. Uh, it's minus two, however, so... Well, he's, gonna be, he's got his normal four plus save normally, so he's using his five plus involve from five the chron Chronomatron. Not a sausage! <laughs> He is gone. Your four wound model, yeah. Oh, it's good die, and you get your assassinate. I get uh, my assassinate. Yes. Oh, that was some bad Things are looking pretty feeble. Because they've consolidated into my overlord, he's going to attack with his void reaper. Uh oh. Three attacks. Two plus to hit, and two pluses to uh, hit. Are these, are these all against the anchor, right? They're against the, the harder one because of the minus four AP. It makes sense to put it on the harder one. Okay. So what's the What's the number of wounds? Uh, this does three damage per hit. I want to guarantee killing one. Happy days. They yeah. say so you never split. So let's see. <laughs> so three hits. Strength is seven against vehicles. Toughness five. So three is to wound. That's wanna, why we don't split. Want to re-roll one? You can mind one. You're happy. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to do it. <coughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> the internet rages. <laughs> But it's three damage on that one. Flat three against the Anchorite, so yeah. down two wounds. At the end of the sister's turn, what have we got, Nick? At the end of the sister's turn, we've got first strike, which is very nice. Yeah. We've one got point. secure objective five, because that's the one the retributors are sitting on over here. Yeah. And assassinate. I got which one I didn't think you'd get, but you did indeed assassinate my <laughs> cryptic. You get the cryptic, so, so that's you get another, two, two points. for that. So that's four objective, uh, victory points in all for this. So four points to two, going two. into Necrons. Urgh. Turn two. We managed to reanimate two warriors from that group. Well, the group over here were completely annihilated, as were my destroyers. So, uh, not a shot was fired from them. Bit disappointing, but it secured me the victory point that I needed. The new cards that I've drawn, I discarded the previous one at the end of the last turn. Salt of the Living, I get a victory point if at least one enemy unit is completely destroyed. I reckon I can do it with the Rhino. Hold the line, get three uh, of my own friendly units in my own deployment zone. One, two, three, not going anywhere. And Nick has chosen this one as my bonus one, which is basically assassinate. He's out having a, a little toilet visit at the moment. But I'm going to try and assassinate Celestine because he's left her as the nearest target. Okay, at the start of my turn, I get a wound back with the living metal rule. So that's back up to 12. The immortals have pushed up a little bit to make Celestine the nearest target. Because there was some dubious measuring going on over here. 
Yeah, but I've know. managed to... I to, haven't angled Celestine very well in the combat yeah. there. That was a mistake. It is folly. <laughs> um, cheeky little monolith has popped into town. You didn't have many places you could put it. But no, because um, Nick's spread out and got quite a lot of board control, um, he's prevented me from going where I was looking to go, which would either be here or over there next to his uh, junk. Right. Which you've got to be 12 inches away from him at the monolith. Indeed. Been. And so the warriors have fallen out of combat so they won't be doing any shooting today i don't know why I think it's <laughs> yeah and over on this side the um the overlord is still locked in combat but hopefully the void scythe might be able to do some damage the angle on the rhino which is on one wound you did roll a dice to see if you got a wound back but it didn't come off on your turn so it is on one wound remaining d6 shots four shots pretty no solid, need for a reroll we'll take four and it's on full power of course full power I'm about that uh, three to hit. Three hits. I'll take three. Not feeling good about this for the Strength rhino. Strength ten. Looking for twos. Threes. Threes. Two go through. Oh, this is crazy. Um, basically, I've got two. I've got six plus invulnerable save. So looking for those two sixes. <laughs> no. Don't want to waste a miracle dice anyway. No. Does it explode, Henry? Henry, hear me. Henry. <laughs> Thank uh, you, Henry. Use your miracle dice for a six. <laughs> no, oh, I am. Rhino's gone. Everyone okay. damaged already. And that will secure me. Score one victory point if at least one enemy unit was completely destroyed during this turn. So I'll get a victory nice. point there. Very nice. Now the other Doomsday Arc, this one has got the angle on the Exorcist over in the corner. So here we go again. D6 shots for five. <sighs> We're rolling hot. Hitting on threes. Oh, not so good. Three plus, it's tough as eight. I'm going to reroll that one for a command point. For a nice. six. Let's get some damage on it. Get it raspberry. Raspberry jammed. <laughs> uh, I've got two six plus saves for the uh, act from the Shield of Faith. Do I need a miracle dice on that? You have got a six in your miracle dice pool. I do have a six, and I'm not sure if I need it. Do you know what? I want the Exorcist alive. So, one armor save. A miracle! It's a miracle. The other one... Oh, Henry! <laughs> Henry! 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 Oh, amazing. Scandal in the war zone. Now, I forgot to say, but I had the Spitfire declared with the Gorse Flare Rays. I swear to God. I swear, Governor. I swear. He did. And uh, so the, both Gorse Flare Rays are going to be shooting at the nearest character. Oh, so Celestine's going to get it hard. I think... Oh. First one. Is it threes to hit? Yeah. Toughness three only. So four have gone through. Four. Any minus? Gauze flare ray is minus one AP. That's three plus saves for Celestine. Oh, that's some. Wow. Wow, we. I mean, I Didn't say the Emperor, but we both know. It's Henry. Yeah, it's Henry. Well, Henry. He, yeah, close enough. Okay, so we do straight into the other one. Yep. Ten shots from the other one going into Celestine. Nice, that's eight wounds. Uh, sorry, eight hits. Yeah. Uh, threes to wound. Nice, that's five. Five. Five three plus saves. Fails one. <gasps> Not bad. One damage. That's down to five wounds. Well, it's worth a go. Okay, next up the Immortals with their Tesla Carbines are going to be shooting at Celestine. Looking for threes. With the exploding sixes, these become 20 hits. Uh, threes, threes to wound. wound. 11 wounds. Only fails the one. Oh, oh hang on, that's, that's cocked. One wound taken, down to four wounds. Oh, I should have fired the Doomsday Arc at home. Next up to shoot is the Monolith. The uh, big guns are going to be shooting at these five, and the whip is going to shoot at the Repentia. Nice rolling. Three to wound. Saves for the sisters up there. Uh, five pluses. Three of them save, three wow. of them die. Uh, that's it, Malik. I'll leave this. That, that one is the sergeant. Leave her alone. Particle whip going into the Repentia now. Okay, looking for threes. Uh, only the three. Strength. Strength is eight, so. Well, then it's two plus the wound. No, I've only got to roll two <laughs> ones. <laughs> Useless. And five plus invuln and five plus potentially sort of feel no pain. Lives. <laughs> Nothing can really charge, so all I've got is my overlord over that side because over here 
I created a bit of a screen for myself and I was going to try and charge Celestine, but of course they withdrew from combat, so that's not going to happen. I won't be getting Assassinate this turn. Let's see what happens later on. I probably targeted the wrong character, to be honest, but Celestine's such a massive target, I just wanted to go for it. But why not? <laughs> Uh, the turkey did nothing over there so let's see <laughs> what we can do here so i'm going to target my three attacks with the void reaper against the unwounded uh what do you call it uh, mortifier okay Looking for twos Sorry. three hits strength seven threes to wound threes to wound oh do you want to command on one of those and there's no point is there because well you fit you kill it yeah that's it don't say never do it, it's another two. <laughs> <laughs> so one's gone through, AP minus four, so it's three damage to that one. No, uh, there's, it gets six plus feel no pain. Ah. Ah, oh, say one. Okay. However, if you hit him once next turn. So he's down the, to... Down to, th uh, down to three damage, the one. Okay, they're attacking back. Yeah. One is, handful, one is, shuffle of dice. This is one of them. Three plus two hit. Threes. Got a four plus in Vaughn. I can't but hope. He's lost three wounds. He's down to two wounds. One more time. From the other one. For the win. Incoming. Three, three plus to hit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh loud. <laughs> oh, loud. <laughs> That's 14 hits. Uh, three pluses to wound. Oh, not very good, but will it be enough? It may, well, it, it may well be enough. I'm going to be honest with you. Things aren't looking down. good. Don't play it down. <laughs> Four plus in bones. Oh, loud. <laughs> <laughs> the mortifiers are in there. He's gone. See you around. And that's Warlord for you as well. That's Warlord. At the end of the Necron turn two, I managed to score one victory point for Slaughter the Living, one for holding the line with my own units behind my own lines. Didn't get assassinate, but I can carry that over. I have revealed what it is, but we don't care, do we? We so don't moment, care. That's four victory points for the Necrons, and uh, still four for me going Four into... all, but uh, no, you, you get an extra victory point for Slay the Wall. Oh, I do get Slay the Wall. That's right, yeah. five, four. five four to the Sisters. Thanks for nothing, Henry Cavill. Turn two for the sisters. Nick has drawn some cards. We've got the secret card, which we think is that one over there, but we're not supposed <laughs> to know that. Overwhelming firepower, so he has to destroy something in his shooting phase. And armor of contempt, which is what? Is I have to make one of mine, but an invulnerable saving throw at some point. However, my miracle dice pool over here does include a six. So unless I've got anything really exciting to use that on the shooting phase, I'll likely be able yeah, to make so a saving it, it's throw. It's a guaranteed point there so there's no point giving him two i'm going to take a chance and, and pick that one as the one that i find to be the hardest okay so even though there's no obvious winners there the repenter have all moved up the uh, repenter superior has moved herself over here which means i can probably reveal that shockingly yes <laughs> defend objective <laughs> no. who'd have thunk it <coughs> never but they are she is still within six inches of her charges so that means she ends up being able to give them her uh, yeah she's doing relations. what she does best and it's buffing the nutcase sisters <laughs> the ones who've done better yeah the things. not sisters berserkers the caness and the dominions have all moved up as well yeah a little bit closer these guys have stayed here honestly because i don't feel too confident for them next turn anyway but at least they can try and hold objective four in case that comes up mm -hmm. the ex sisters stayed still the other sisters squad around the back here just moved up just to sort of get close to objective five in case that one comes up later okay meanwhile the other canness the retributors and the hospital are all hanging around here they've all moved up themselves the minions have advanced there's not much for them to see right now but they're just pushing across so they can go to either one or three if that comes up and yeah, finally, good spread there. I think so. And the mortifiers with their woundedness, yeah. woundedness, they're still trying to uh, avenge themselves or repent or whatever it is they're trying to do, and they're getting awfully close to those doom marks because they know, look so good because the flames are like behind them, like where they're charging. Are magic. they going to survive Overwatch? We'll soon find out. The uh, meanwhile, the priest and the Ark of Flaglands moving up, but I'm not. <laughs> Not so much the yeah. part they're going to play. They're, they're busy going. <laughs> <laughs> it's just what they say. Celestine's got her eyeball on a tasty little unit of immortals. She don't like them. She don't like it. And lastly, the sisters uh, Seraphim have deep struck nine inches away from the monolith. And they're going to spend one command point on deadly descent. <gasps> 
which means that they get to shoot, even though it's still a movement phase, they get to have a shot, and Inferno pistols, in this case, get to add six inches to their range, so they will actually be able to shoot. Ooh. In a shooting phase, they'll be out of range, but right now, in a movement phase, for one command point, they'll be in range. Tasty. Here is going to fire, she's going to supercharge her plasma pistol and fire. If she dies, the advantage of order of our martyr lady, everyone else thinks it's so impressed by her martyrdom, they all add plus one to hit for the rest of the game. <laughs> so I'm going to supercharge it quite crazy. happily. crazy. <laughs> See if she dies. She dies! <laughs> Get that out. model lasted all of about five yeah. seconds. Wonderful yeah. paint job lovely and lovely base. base. Lovely base. Thank you, James March. Brilliant. <laughs> but that means the rest of our squad is buffed. Inferno pistols. Inferno pistols. Inferno fire. So two pluses hit now because they're so impressed by what their superior <laughs> just did. Thank you, lady. Ah, oh, one missed anyway. But one's in. That was useful. Yeah. It's uh, strength eight against toughness eight. So four plus to wound. Her sacrifice was in vain. <laughs> <laughs> Worthless. <laughs> They landed, uh, the boss got incinerated, and then they did nothing. For nothing. Now you know what it's like to be a Necron. The first two units to fire was these two, shooting at the Doomsday Arc. They managed to strip off two wounds. So both of them are now on 12. The minions with their Storm Bolters and the Superior with her Bolter. They're in range of the uh, Cannon S, so they'll be able to re-roll one to hit. And you're shooting at the they four just, remaining warriors. These four little guys here, I want them gone. Four got twos in there. Uh, 13 hits. Uh, strength four against toughness four, so four plus yeah, the wounds. Fours. Seven wounds, and it's just uh, nothing, so it's just your usual armor save. Oh, oh dear. Oh. That's four gone. That's the unit gone. That's them gone. Your cannon S is now going to fire her relic bolt pistol, the Wrath of the Emperor. She the balls. Yes, the balls. Bolt pistol shells that make people burst into fire when they hit them. Quality. <laughs> it's uh, four two pluses to hit, re rolling ones because of herself. All hit, uh, it's strength five against Immortal's Toughness four, I think. Four, yeah. So threes to wound. Oh, that's some solid oh. wounding. Solid wounding. And it is minus two, two damage. So five plus saves. Got three of them. Three down. And having destroyed the Necron Warriors, a Miracle Dice was rolled and you got a two Indeed. in the bank. It's not going to be able to be usable this phase because it's only, it should be the end of the phase, but so I don't forget, I've rolled it now. Indeed. Celestine with her Flaming Sword. D6 automatic hits. Ah, oh, it's turning. Strength five, so three pluses to wound. Uh, four wounds there, and it's minus one, so it's four plus saves for the immortals. Oh, nice, only one dead. This is from this unit. Shot at the Doomsday Arcs, but to no effect. This is going to be shooting at, at the turkey, <laughs> the monolith. I'm a little bit worried we're just going to start doing stripping away all my units from this side. So it's uh, three heavy bolt shots to start with, threes to hit, two hits, uh, fives to wound at strength five. That's a nice <gasps> wounding. Wow. Minus one. So uh, I imagine four plus save. We'll check that in a second. Both saves. 3d3 of its Exus missiles. That's wow. nice. That's seven shots. Three, four. Three pluses to hit. Because that giant turkey thing. Yes. Six hits. Strength eight, toughness eight, so it's fours to wound. That's pretty solid. That's yeah, solid. That's it's four wounds. It's minus three. Is there? There's no vulnerable save we just uh, This turkey needs a lot of boosting. No, it doesn't have anything like that. This so thing, this thing needs a lot. Looking at of sixes. New codex. Yes, Indeed. Sixes. Not a sausage. <laughs> How many? Four d six. Oh god. Oh god. Sure, blow it up. Go on. <laughs> Don't care. Yeah. Uh, 10, 16 wounds stripped off the monolith. Ah, oh, down to four got, wounds. Down to four wounds. <laughs> I should absolutely have checked whether this thing had the Titanic keyword. And fly. Because I've, yeah. <laughs> I've just charged my Seraph Manit and two of them have murdered an Overwatch and I've just realised it's Titanic. So uh, I'm not going to be holding it up on Overwatch. Well, anyway. it's Raspberry, but I'm hoping that you make it in because then I can roll a six and send you to my crown world through the portal of exile. <laughs> I need a nine. There's no oxygen on the other side of the portal. Oh no, missed, uh, I didn't make it anyway. That's miracle right. dice it. That was, no. that was a terrible decision. No, miracle no. Okay, well, I killed I killed two sisters in the overwatch. Yeah, that wasn't a good move on my part. No, that's the best a monolith will ever do anyway. <laughs> Celestine charged into my immortals. I rolled a bunch of sixes, which exploded into this many hits. <laughs> so looking for... Threes to wound. What are they strength? Four. Uh, threes to wound then, yeah. Threes to wound. 
five wounds through on Celestine. How many lives has she got left? She's got four lives left. However, she has got the art, her awesome armor, so it's two plus armor save. Ah, that's, uh, a, that's a shame. Faith rewards Never her. Never mind. Right, charge in. She's made it. Okay. <laughs> So the Repentia charging him. Okay, yep, indeed. I believe they can re-roll their charge. I'll double-check that in a second because the superior... I think you said they'd go jam. Yeah. But I don't think they're going to need yes. it. Oh, hell. <laughs> Next to attack is going to be these bad boys, and you're going to be using Holy Rage. That's right, the Mortifiers are charging that one do mark closest to them. The, uh, are they a unit? They are a unit. They okay, are, gotcha. Unit. So, so together. I fired the Overwatch from the Gauze Flare Ace so far to no effect. Of course, we've got the Doomsday Arc itself, the Doomsday Cannon. Deep so, six shots. For a strong one, <laughs> looking for a hot six, doesn't happen. <laughs> Let's see if you make the charge distance. I believe I'm nine inches away, so I'm going to need an eight to get in there. Uh, and I can't use Miracle Dice on them because they're not a company that have got much in the way okay. of faith. <sighs> oh, it's there, it's a ten. Should I push them up? <laughs> 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 to repent. So repent! <laughs> More than feminine. <laughs> okay, first combat. The mortifiers into the doom arc. Here's the first mortifier. 15 hits on three pluses. 10 hits. And uh, what's the toughness? Six? Uh, yes. Fantastic. Well, in which case, that makes it four plus to wound with plus one from the flails. Oh, but loud. <laughs> uh oh. So that is uh, wow. eight. Eight wounds, young man. Minus one. So, no, minus two. Minus two, sorry. Oh, wow. So six is required to save the Doomsday Arc from this many attacks. Excellent. Hmm, that's <laughs> not, that is not enough sixes there. So eight, eight damage from the first one. Eight mortifier. damage, and it was down to 12. Down to four wounds. And the second mortifier is going to go choppy, choppy, chop, chops. It's only got four wounds left to take, I think. Right, so threes to hit. Nine hits, I believe. Yes. And fours to wound. Quantum shielding ineffective against uh, Massive one contact. damage weapons. Take those. Oh, you've done Ooh. very well. You've done very There's well. So six wounds. You need to save at least. Well, you need to save several of these. No. Uh, that is an impressive lack of six. God, they are the bane of doomsday arcs, are they not? Henry, I'd like to Henry, no. Henry Cavill, please this bless this dice and no roll a six. six. No! Screw him, Ray! Oh. Screw! <laughs> Never did anything for me. <laughs> One down. The next gonna start chopping some people up. Two pluses to hit, six attacks, five hits, uh, strength seven, so three pluses to wound. Three wounds, and uh, it's minus three, I believe, so you're gonna have six plus saves from those guys. Yeah, watch this. Excellent. Uh -uh. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> One. Two, three. You should have stayed asleep. <laughs> Back to your tomb world. <laughs> and then the uh, Repentia are next. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. They've got two attacks each. Fourteen. And they've got four pluses to hit, but they are re-rolls because they've got a zealot. Oh, I'm going to need to do some re-rolls there. That's a lot better. Three pluses to wound the yeah. giant eviscerators. Uh, and the because I've used her to hold that objective initially, the uh, they don't get the re-roll of the wounds there, unfortunately. So it's uh, three plus the wounds. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wounds to revolt. Any um, minus? Uh, minus three. Good. So six is required. <laughs> one save. Ooh, but Not that, great when there's only five left. That unit is wiped. Things are looking pretty, pretty <laughs> slim <laughs> and lame. Not looking good for the Necron. Super lame. <laughs> Super lame. At the end of the sister's turn, what have you scored, Nick? Uh, I have got overwhelming firepower because I destroyed one unit in the shooting which phase. Which turns into two points. Which turns into two points. And defend objective two, I've got over there, which is another two points. That's four victory points at the end of this turn. Uh, so that puts you on five, on 11 points to four. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest, things aren't looking great for the Necrons. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, like I've got like a Doomsday Arc gear and a turkey. And the scarabs. And the scarabs. <laughs> The cards I've got are Advance, uh, which Nick has drawn as the bonus one, which I'm unlikely to get. Behind Enemy Lines and Overwhelming Firepower, so I've got to blow some stuff up, which I might do yeah, you have the just to retrieve some points, but I do actually only have 
five models on the board at this point. <laughs> Three of them are scared. So if you're, if you're still with us, thank you for sticking with us, rather than skipping and watching someone who knows what they're doing. The first 12 shots are going to be with the Gauze Flux arc against the Seraphim, seraphim down here in the jungle. Hitting all fives because we're in major raspberry Ooh, mode. Nice hitting. But there's a few. Yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five, uh, five hits there. That will learn you, won't it? <laughs> three to wound. Five, three to wound. All wound. All wound. That's five dice. And what's the AP, please? AP is minus two. So five plus armor saves for those two girls. No, wiped off. That's one unit done. Yeah, now you're learn now you're gonna learn <laughs> to fear the turkey. <laughs> The particle whip is up at those up there. Sisters, six, uh, fives and sixes. You got three hits again. That'll do. And what strength? Uh, strength is eight, so hit two wounding on to wound. twos. Two so at two. minus two AP. So you got two five plus saves. Oh, wipe them as well. That's two units. Two units now. I need one more unit wipe to get my D3 victory points for my thing. They Not that it matters at this point. <laughs> Doomsday arc at these two. D6 shots. For two, I'm going to use a command point because I'm going to be dead soon. <laughs> For two! <laughs> In which case... <sighs> uh, it was a, definitely going to be a through... Was it strength 10? Strength 10, yeah. Oh, well, two plus the wound then, that's fine. Yeah. Six damage. Uh, what's the armor? Damage of it? Was it minus oh, four or something? Minus five AP on oh, a... Oh, that's the end yeah. of that then. And one more fire is completely and utterly destroyed. Hooray! And uh, the one I'd have. <laughs> and now the gauze flare rays are going to be shooting at the remaining one. Hitting on threes. Yep. Fives to wound. One, two. two. Just two. Just two. Now you have to fail both of these. It's minus one. <laughs> trembling, in, <laughs> trembling in your metal pants. It's, uh, or knickers. Five plus save. Oh! <laughs> Henry! It's, it's reduced to one. That's such a shame. Okay, into the uh, charge phase, I've charged my scarabs into the last round. I really wanted to blow it up in the shooting phase just to earn some credit with the D3 uh, victory points, but alas, it wasn't to be. Not to be. So Overwatch coming from this horrible thing. Sixes from the mortifier. You got one, two, three, four hits from the mortifiers. Three plus to wound. Uh, two hits go through, minus one. Do you want their arm savers? I do not. One base was reduced to one wound, but we're going to play self-destruction for some glory. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to look to uh, destroy it that way. On a two plus, the enemy takes D3 mortal wounds. I mean, he has two wounds left, I believe. Here comes a solid one. No. no. <laughs> D3 wounds. D3. Hey! Hey! Does he explode? Oh, I'm not, I don't even know if they can. Oh, I'll tell, no, tell you what he does do. I bet he starts lashing out. Yeah, or he she does. starts He's lashing really out. really unhappy about this. Um, boo, 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 boo. When a model in this unit is destroyed, roll well, 1d6 before moving up. On a 4 plus, it meets out its final vengeance, and each enemy within 1 inch suffers d3 mortal wounds. So I should have done that officially on the last modifier, but there wasn't anything within d3. No, three. fair one. This one, however, on a 4 plus. No. No, get it off. Blows up. Does it blow up? Uh, no, it just dies. Okay, <laughs> get off. Hooray! Consolidate. Mm. 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 Okay, objective wise, didn't get advanced naturally. Uh, my monolith was too slow and raspberry to score that, and overwhelming firepower, I get one victory point. I was going for the big D3, but that puts me up to a measly 5 to 11. So let's play out and see what happens on the sisters' turn 3 and then call it a day. On to the sisters' turn 3, the cards drawn. Secure six, which is beside. just behind <laughs> there. Um, Armor of Contempt, which is making invulnerable save. Yep. It's not going to happen. And secure the uh, scale, scale of the skies, skies which is basically try and blow up the monolith. And oh. I picked that one because I want to see the turkey blow up because I hate it. <laughs> the Exorcist has stayed still. It's going to be pouring fire into the monolith along with the cannoness of their amazing bolt pistol and the storm bolt uh, uh, dominions. The over here, Celestine has moved up to hold objective six and also because she's blatantly going to charge that thing. <laughs> Coming from the other direction, our uh, seven very angry. Yeah, uh, they went. <laughs> they rage. charged around because I'm going to use the card that allows them to charge after advancing. Do, 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 do. Move. Come on and do the conga. <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> Repent for your sins. <laughs> what else? What else? What else? The Arca Flaglands are trying to actually do something this game. Yeah, they're going, rah, 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 r
and the um, archiflagellants have moved up, the, the retributors have moved up, and they're actually going to finally be in range, I hope, of their multi multimorphs in a second. Uh, and all your sisters have stayed still because I think we're not, this is probably yeah. not going to happen. It's game time, let's just see some let's... cool stuff happen, and let's we'll see if we can it. blow up a monolith. <laughs> and chop up a, a doomsday art. So we didn't even bother recording it because we thought we wouldn't do anything, but it stripped off another two wounds. From the exorcist over here, that was the exorcist. Oh, so that was the exorcist, sorry, sorry yeah. Oh. And now it's exorcist missiles, 3d3 shots. At the monolith. At the monolith, one, two, three, four, five shots. Three pluses to hit. Uh, two of them, uh, three, sorry, three of them are hits. It's four plus to wound. That's four, <laughs> so, three solid wounds. AP. And it's minus three, so you got six, six save, nice. But being that it's 2d6 wounds and you've currently got three wounds left, I'd suggest, yeah, bad times for the monolith. Okay, does it explode? No, but the monolith is gone. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> Heavy Flamer from Celestine going into the Doomsday Arc. It's four automatic hits, uh, five plus sister wound, one wound, and minus one for you, young man. Saves it. Yeah. This game's still in the is back. It, is it, <laughs> Strong it, it, yeah. game, still winning. We come at the turning of the tide. Uh, since the Repentance Superior has charged, he's not doing anything. The Retributors. The, uh, I'm going to take away both these little old man baby things yeah. who don't need to be out of mailed anymore. And that means the multi melt is basically going to get to fire twice. I, I can do it at the end, I'll just do it now. Okay, do it so now. It's four shots at the Doomsday Arc, or Doom Arc, whatever it's called. Doomsday Arc. Doomsday Indeed. Arc. Three plus to hit, because even though they've got heavy weapons, they don't have a penalty. That's the joy of the retributors. Uh, and re roll the one for the cannoness who's there. That's four hits. Three pluses to wound on the Doom Arc. Oh, that's that's not good. No, it's not. I should use Miracle one. Dice there. Right, Miracle Dice now, and I'm going to put down four wounds because I'm hoping maybe you won't be able to roll underneath that. Yeah, so, true. So, quantum shielding. Are you going to use the strat or not? Uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, play that strategy so where it has to be equal to four or under. No. Yeah, <laughs> so the multi melters take the Doomsday Arc down to nine wounds. And it's four, uh, six heavy bolt shots, three pluses to hit, re-rolling ones for the Cannon S. Uh, it's five hits, uh, five's the wound, one wound, uh, Minus one, so it's a five plus save, I think. Oh, it's a nice save. Yeah. Well, Celestine uh, fancies a little charge, doesn't she? I could charge her repentance first, but do you know what? Yeah, we want to see some so, gore. Yeah, so she wants to leave from the front. Doomsday Cannon for six <laughs> shots. <laughs> this, this may have been a terrible decision. Losing this whole game may be worth it just for this moment. Uh, six is to hit. What? We've got three oh, Doomsday no. shots in the face. Oh, this, this is maybe a terrible decision on my Two's part. Two's to wound. Two's to wound, absolutely. Two have gone through, minus five AP. Four plus invulnerable save she's got. Oh, one goes oh, through, takes one D6 damage. Stand! Yeah. Annihilation! <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> however, however. Oh no, oh no. It's only when she's dead for this turn, she's not going to be doing any charging. Roll 1d6 at the end of the phase on a 2 plus return his model to play. So the Repentia now fancy it, don't they? After seeing Celestine getting her face <laughs> dissolved. So we're going to fire watch again for d6. Level 6! <laughs> <laughs> now you stop Hit it on 6s! Well. No, no, that's sorry, a shame. And sorry, I did sorry. a gauze flare raise off camera. Yeah, uh, the Holy Rage has been played. That's how um, Nick's been able to advance and charge the ladies into combat. Uh, the gauze flare raise ineffective. So they got charge and they can re-roll as well if necessary, but they won't need to. Seven will get the ears. So at the end of the charge phase, in the yep. phase, Celestine may get back up. On a two plus, she stands back up for the very first time she's killed. <laughs> Jamon. Yeah, she done well then. She took a doomsday out to the face. <laughs> I'm still stood up again. Now, yeah. that, if that isn't love of Henry Cavill, yeah. what is? Thank you, Henry. These guys always also made it into the charge with the scarabs. They did. So let's do some quick. Yeah. Gone. Six Argo Flaglins, Vanished. And, and the priest nearby. I think that was about 57 attacks they had between the six models. Yeah. So we have spared you. <laughs> the Repentia are attacking the Doomsday Arc. They are indeed. This will be the last roll of the game. It's four pluses to hit. I think they're out. Oh, they can re roll these, however. Got the last thing on the table. Oh. It's looking pretty good so far. It's strength six, toughness six, so it's four pluses to wound. Oh, not amazing. This is where I probably should have been using a miracle dice, but I'm just kind of rushing through it now. 
and that is five hits at minus three. So I've oh. got to get a save, so that's ten. That's one, two, three, four, five dice, so that's two wounds apiece, that's ten wounds. And it was on nine. I think that's uh, problem solved. Yeah, it is indeed. So <laughs> I'm hoping I explode because I want to take some of you idiots with me. No, no I can't even do that. <laughs> I've got a command point. No. <laughs> <laughs> and, that is me. and that is why the Necrons, the Necrons have been tabled. <laughs> the victory is complete. The victory points. Uh, the victory there, points. Uh, yeah. I think we can say so. The victory points. The tables are a mess. <laughs> Everything's dead. Cats and dogs living together. Mass hysteria. Ghostbusters quote. Well done, Nick, yeah. social handshake. Uh, 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 uh. This is probably too much, right? Yeah, and uh, also point at Henry. Henry, thank you. Henry. Thank you for blessing our game thank and blessing you. our hobby. Not the Necrons, though. Not the Necrons, the no. sisters. The sisters. Until next time, see you soon.